Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn your computer into a great educational tool. How you can draw pictures freehand on your computer when you're trying to teach people concepts and you want to draw pictures and shapes and those types of things as part of your live calls, whether it's your coaching calls, your consulting calls. I'm going to show you the tool that you need to be able to get that working. So let's get into it. Hey, this is Jamie, founder of Technology for Coaches. And in today's video, I wanna tell you about a tool that people ask me almost weekly. How do you do that, Jamie? And what they're talking about is when I'm sharing my screen with people, whether it's in a GoToWebinar or a Skype session, and they see me draw live on the screen. And how you do that is when you've got an iPad or uh, another device, usually though iPads, you can actually share your iPad with your computer. Now your computer doesn't need to be a Mac specifically, mine are all Mac based, but you can have a Mac or a Windows. And the tool that you need, you don't need anything extra on your iPad, but the tool that you need to install on your computer is something called Air Server. So airserver.com, and the link is below to go and see it. And it's about 20 or $30. You install it on your computer. And what that allows you to do is to connect your iPad to your computer. And it allows you then to share your screen mirror your iPad on your screen. And that allows you then to open up any application on your iPad, um, any drawing application that's your favorite. Uh, I use Notability or Penultimate are two apps that I use on the iPad. And then I can freehand draw either with my little stylus or even with my finger to draw concepts and shapes to be able to represent to people on the screen. So that's the tool that I use is Air Server and I spent by the way, quite a few months trying to work this out, spent quite a bit of money, even spent money $300 on one of those drawing tablets to connect to the computer. And then about three days later, found a $20 application. So that drawing tablet went back to the shop and now I use my iPad today. So hopefully that is helpful for you. Any questions at all, feel free to put them in below. Feel free to share this video as well to help other people and look forward to sharing another tip with you next week. Bye for now.